Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use the free FSR3 frame generation mod in Returnal and Star Wars Jedi Survivor version 8. I'll be using the mod developed by Nukem9. It works only on RTX based GPUs. It basically replaces DLSS frame generation with FSR frame generation. I'll be testing these games on my Windows PC that has an RTX 2070 Super GPU. We'll be using build version 0.9. It was released 3 days ago. For Eternal, only the universal DLL version of this mod work for me. And for Star Wars Jedi Survivor, only the standard version of this mod work. First, I'll show you the setup process for Returnal. Just click on this Nexus Mods link. It will take you to this website. From here, you need to download the standard and the universal DLL version of the mod. Click on Manual Download here. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Then click on Slow Download. Go back, now click on manual download under universal. Same process, click on slow download. For Eternal, I'll be using the universal DLL version of the mod. So extract the contents of the archive file corresponding to it. Here we have three DLL versions of the mod. I'll be using the second one, DLL underscore version. Version dot DLL file basically acts as a spoofer. It tricks the game into thinking that our PC has an RTX 40 series GPU. Returnal incorporates hard checks for this GPU. This is why this game was not compatible with the older versions of this mod. Copy the two DLL files. Open the game's install directory. I own the Epic Games version of it. Click on three dots here. Under the game's box art, click on manage. Click on this folder icon here. Open Returnal folder. Open binaries folder. Open Win64 folder. Paste the files here. Overwrite prompt in my case, if you are doing the process for the first time, you won't be seeing it. With this version of the mod, we don't need to execute any registry file. Now we just need to enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling. Right click anywhere on your desktop, then click on display settings. Then click on graphics. Click on change default graphics setting. Make sure this toggle is enabled under hardware accelerated GPU settling. Now we need to enable vertical sync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on the windows icon here. Make sure your GPU drivers are up to date. Click on global settings here. Scroll down until you find vertical sync. Set it to on. You can also apply this setting on a per game basis. Click on program settings here. Click on add. Just add the game's exe file. It's returnal in my case. Let me look for it. There it is. Scroll down until you find vertical sync. Set it to on. Apply. Close. Now we are ready to run the game. Video settings resolution set to full HD. Graphics tab. DLSS set to quality. Frame generation setting enabled. First, I'll run the game without it. Set it to off. Reflex enable. In game vsync disable. I am using the epic preset. Ray tracing set to medium. This is the opening sequence here we are getting around 74 to 84 FPS. 65 to 65 FPS while sprinting. Now I'll enable frame generation. Alright, FPS increased up to 130. I can observe the smoothness. Not observing any ghosting around the character model. Games, herd elements are not flickering as well. I'll play the game for a few minutes. Wow, the graphics look so nice. I hate this keyboard pop-up. Okay, combat time. Found the key.
I didn't kill that creature. Use the key here. Game runs very nicely with this mod. I'll be trying out the next game. Security system encountered. Patch 8 for Jedi Survivor was dropped on 11 January. These are the patch notes. A new high contrast mode has been added. A new audio ping functionality has been added. This update includes additional slow motion presets. The presets are set at 30, 50 and 75 percent. This patch also incorporates some fixes for performance and stability across all platforms. Good thing is that Newcom 9's mod works very nicely with the patch version 8 of this game. However, I did observe one bug. With the frame generation mod enabled during the cutscenes, some artifacts can be observed around the subtitles, just like this. There is an easy way to fix this issue. Just need to disable the black bars in the cutscenes. This can be done using a free mod. I will be showing you the process. First, I'll show you how to install Newcom 9's mod. We'll be using the standard version of it, extract its contents. Need to execute this registry file, disable NVIDIA signature checks. Only need to do it once, don't need to execute it again when you are trying out a different game. In order to revert the changes, just run restore NVIDIA signature checks.registry file. Copy the two DLL files. Open the games install directory. I actually own the Epic Games version of it. Epic version of the game basically runs the EA Play version of it. There is the game. Click on manage here. Then click on view properties. Then click on browse. You need to open SW game folder. Binaries folder. Win64 folder. Paste the DLL files here. Now I'll show you the setup process for the other mod that disables the black bars from the cutscenes. Just go to this website, I'll drop its link in the description. Under the asset section, click on the first archive link. There is the archive file that we just downloaded, extract its contents. Copy the SW game folder. Open the games install directory. Paste it right here. Now if you open the directory where the game's exe file is present, you will find the new files. These are the new files, Jedi Survivor Fix.ini and X Input 1 underscore 3.tll. We are ready to run the game. Just execute Jedi Survivor.exe. Game should start. Display settings, resolution set to full HD. Window mode, full screen, using the high preset. In game VSync disable, ray tracing disable as well. DLSS 3 set to quality. First, I'll run the game without frame generation. I load the planet Kobo area. There's my character Cal. Wow, look at planet Kobo. Big open area here. FPS is around 80. GP load is around 90%. FPS only dropped down to 65. This is the problem with this game. Okay, so the FPS always stays above 60. Now I'll enable frame generation. Perfect scenario for it. Enable. FPS increased up to 129. Not bad. Even with the high preset and no ray tracing enabled, game is consuming around 7.2 GB of VRAM. I'll engage in combat. No ghosting around the character model. Game's HUD elements are not flickering. I can definitely observe the smoothness. But some occasional hitches are still present.
here FPS suddenly dropped from 113 to 90 drop down As you can see the artifacts around the subtitles have been fixed now. So that's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.